My name is Anthony Babb. I'm a lot more comfortable going with Tony. I have been wearing my Eastside eyewear since 2018. I wasn't declared legally blind uh, until I was in my early 20s. The eye disease that I have is known as Stargardt's disease. It's a congenital disease. It runs in my family. I see 20 over 300. Everything was already always blurry, but around 20, 21, 22, things really started to change. Like, I really couldn't see my mom's face, and that bothered me. I couldn't see my own face. I was cutting myself, shaving. The little, little things, you know, that you, you take for granted. I couldn't see the time. If I wanted to look at something, I'd have to literally put my face right into it. You have that moment where you're feeling, is this really who I am? Is this the person that I'm becoming? Is everything in life going to change? Like getting a job, meeting someone, taking care of children, uh, your independence. So most of the time, I would have to do things for myself. I would hustle for myself. Uh, I still sell jewelry, uh, which is something that I've always had to do because I've realized I had to rely on myself. I couldn't necessarily rely on others. But I still persevered and I did what I had to do and I've had great opportunities and had great jobs. To be able to have the same opportunities that everyone else takes for granted, just going for walks, going for bike rides with my kids, you know, watching your daughter's ballet recital, watching a movie with my kids. You know, you got a lot of parents out there who don't see, who I'm sure, like me, felt like bad parents. I've never had a doctor tell me anything about it. I've never had anyone else in the medical field or any of the associations for the blind, the CNIB, no one has ever mentioned anything about this to me. So I was completely skeptical. I allowed my wife to make the appointment. This is a waste of time. I can't believe you're making me do this. Got inside here, put the device on, and spent the next 15 minutes crying. I could see my wife's face. I pulled out my phone. I could see my mother's face. I remember somebody had said that there was some dust in my beard and I was actually able to pull the dust out of my beard. And I know that seems so trivial, but when you don't see, to be able to get the dust out of your beard it can almost feel like a miracle. Pardon the pun, it was an eye-opening experience. It's given me a certain sense of independence that I don't ever really need to rely on anyone else when I have my device. I can solely just rely on myself. And that, I think, is the biggest gift that the device has given me.